Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 94 of What's That Pepper series. Today I have a very interesting pepper variety to show you and this is the Komodo Dragon. And this was sent to me from uh, Adrian, Adrian Crooks. Uh, you can find Adrian on Facebook so I'll list uh, the link to where you can find him. So uh, this is a very interesting looking pod because uh, it looks much different than what I'm used to. Uh, the Komodo dragon that I'm used to seeing is a lot bigger and uh, it has sort of like a, a, a larger, longer, like almost like a, a habanero shape to me. Um, and so the Komodo dragon, if you haven't heard the story, uh, was uh, first announced in 2015 in the UK and uh, it stated that it is one of the hottest pepper in the world and uh, it could rival the reaper. And I think that was uh, found to be a little bit uh, lower in the Scoville unit, so the reaper is still the, the, the hottest in the world, but uh, supposedly uh, the Scoville units for this is around 1.4 million Scoville units up to 2.2, which is around the, the Reaper heat. So uh, if you live in the UK, you can fi find these at uh, Tesco, the, the grocery store. I think that's where a lot of people first found these peppers. So anyway, uh, the Komodo Dragon, let's cut this open and take a look because I didn't grow this. So I don't have a plant to show you. So we'll take a look and see what this looked like inside and we'll try it out. All right guys, here is the peppers and we're gonna take a look. We'll cut it open and see what's inside. This is what the inside looks like. It has a pretty nice thick wall, I would say. Much thicker than the Reapers. It smells pretty hot too, so let's go ahead and try it out. Alright guys, the Komodo Dragon, and I'm not even wearing gloves, and I, I know I should, but I don't have any more, so. It has that, um, that fuming hot heat that you would get from the, the Chinense varieties. That's mostly what I get. Anyway, we'll, we'll have a try at it. So I cut myself a small piece as usual. <laughs> These are really hot peppers, so I don't, I don't dare eat too much of it. Let's, let's give it a try. Doesn't have much of a flavor. And they did say that this uh, variety has a very slow build and I can feel it coming. Yeah, it does have a very slow build. The heat is coming on very slowly. I can taste a little bit slight floralness in, in, in the pepper. It tastes more like a seven pot to me. But I didn't get much of a flavor. There's there's not much um, sweetness or anything at all. I just get that it has a nice thick wall, so it's it's a good um, 
<clears throat> good pepper to chew on. Yeah, this the heat. They were right about the slow build. It's like the uh, the ghost varieties as well. It takes like a like a minute or so to get the heat to build. So wherever I was chewing, you feel that uh, the heat around the area and the part where I swallow the, this area here is all burning. It's very hot. <clears throat> Starting to fade now. So, um, it came on slow. It's it stuck around here, my throat, mostly the throat area. My mouth is fine. So this is the first time I've ever had this. It's very hot. I'm not sure if it's a uh, reaper hot because I really can't tell because. Anything that's over the the heat of a um, a habanero is too hot for me, so it it all feels the same, like the burning everything. This one is definitely hot. <clears throat> so everything is fine now, except this small area right here, where the heat is still trying to hang on. <clears throat> you know if it if it has a little sweetness like um what I usually prefer <clears throat> I would like it a lot more but what I'm getting is just <clears throat> just heat it could be that the peppers um got a little overripe maybe because um, I think these are the only few that uh, Adrian has left so when it's got what he got here it kind of has um, black spots around the outside wow the, the heat is still in this area but everywhere else is fine it's just right here so yeah uh, getting my nose to run a little bit. Definitely a good name for this pepper, <laughs> the Komodo dragon, because if you watch those guys in the wild, they'll bite their prey, and they'll the prey was would just run off and then slowly die to the poison in their spit. So it takes a while for them to die off. So this one here, the heat is very slow, so. <laughs> If you eat this and you did you didn't you don't think that it's hot and you keep eating and eating and then all of a sudden it go bam your throat and stuff will be on fire. So yeah, it's a it's a decent pepper, I would say, as far as heat goes. Uh, might be a good hot sauce for sure because of the the heat and the nice uh, thick texture of the wall. I need to try more of these. I'm I think it may taste better uh depending on uh the different plant so um, maybe in the future we'll try it again anyway guys um, that is it the Komodo dragon thank you Adrian for sending this uh, please uh, look in the description I'm gonna put uh, Adrian's information and you guys can go and talk to him that's it guys thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe <laughs>